Welcome back to another episode of Outdoors Junkie. Today's going to be a little different. I'm going to be showing you guys my Sitka gear. My gear that I use for hunting from early season all the way to late season. I do apologize I've not posted in a while. It's been about three months since my last video. Been busy with hunting, family things with a new house. The reason why I have not self filmed this year is because I don't have the equipment for it. I do have the camera, but I don't have the camera arm or anything else like that. I am researching on how to self film, so next year I will be self filming, so keep an eye out for that. Also, if you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button down below. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. Once I hit that, I'll be doing another giveaway, so stay tuned. First piece of equipment here is for early season. These are the early season whitetail pants. It's a stretchy material again these are elevated two pattern the way that sitka has engineered this is when a deer looks up at you in the tree kind of breaks out your silhouette and the grays and the blues kind of represent the sky from what i've used deer have come within 10 15 yards and have not seen me another thing is sun control so that's something you want to keep into consideration again these are the sitka early season whitetail pants My waist size is a 31, 32-ish, and these are a 32. They do fit kind of snug. Thick of clothing does run a little bit small and a more of an athletic fit. So if you do plan on getting these, get like an inch or so a little bit bigger than your actual size. The nice thing about these for early season is that it's really thin and it's breathable. And in the crotch area, it has some netting material. So it helps breathe. And this is super thin material, which is nice. On camera, it sounds like it's kind of noisy, but actually when you wear it, it's not noisy at all. You can move. I do enjoy these for early season just because when you're walking with them, you don't sweat as much. And when you bend and you move, this conforms to your body. So everything is nice and quiet. And the quality is great. It's got two front pockets. with some netting material as well. And then two cargo pockets, which is nice. And then the inside of them has another pocket. So it's a pocket within a pocket. You can put that your cell phone or anything else you want in there. It's really nice. And the buttons are quiet. It's got like a rubber clasp right there. So when you put them together, there's no noise, which is really nice. Next piece of equipment I'm using is the, this is the midweight. Zip T. It's got some fleece lining material in the middle. Honestly, for early season, when it's in the 70s or 80s, I would probably go with the lightweight, but this is all I got. And I use this next to skin, which is nice. It does get a little bit warm, but once you kind of cool off, it's really nice. Again, this is the Sitka Midweight Zip T. This is in a medium. And these, they do run small, but I kind of like the Nexus skins just a little bit tighter on me. I'm going to put it on here just to show you guys. So as you can see, like I said, it's pretty tight on you. So got some movement. It has some thumb holes on here. Nice thing about that is when you go to layer this underneath another jacket, and when you push your sleeve through the outer jacket, this doesn't ride up on your forearm here. This thumb hole kind of keeps it in place, so you push the whole sleeve through, and you don't have to fuss with that. Zip T's got a half zip here, so when you get to the tree and it gets hot, you can air out a little bit. It does have a pocket here which is nice. Range finder. I don't know if it'll fit a cell phone. It's kind of small but it's there if you need it. Another thing I use year-round is a cap besides for gun deer because you need blaze orange of course. So this is their trucker hat. Basic hat elevated to pattern. When it gets a little bit cooler um, I wear a base layer underneath the early season pants. Uh, the next to skin base layer to absorb the, um, the sweat when I walk in. And then I'll put these over 
and I can get down to maybe the 50s if anything. And then I wear knee-high boots, the lacrosse Alpha Burry. When it gets colder into October, then I put on the Equinox hoodie. This is a really, really nice piece. See there. Again, this is a medium. It has many names for their clothing. This is this is what they call a hoodie, but if you're just to pick it off the shelf, it looks more like a jacket. This is not windproof. It has fleece berber lining. It's really soft. I will usually wear. I'm not gonna put it on because it's gonna be really hot. But I usually wear the midweight zip tee underneath this jacket. Sorry, I meant the Equinox hoodie. But here's the medium. Really form fitting, really tight around the wrist here, which is nice if you're gonna plan to layer this over another jacket. Again, it's got the zip pouch here. Again, they're kind of small. You probably maybe put a rangefinder cell phone if you have a small enough cell phone, but with these big cell phones these days, I tried, it sticks about halfway out. But this is probably one of the most used hoodies slash jackets that I used throughout the season from early October all the way till I used this even last week during gun deer um, when I got up in the tree. Again, this is a medium, fits. Just to give it to perspective, I'm about 5'3", 140 pounds. So the medium, if you guys are looking for that, the mediums do fit large if you want to layer up more. But me personally, I like this fitting. This with the zip tee here, I can hunt mostly two to three hours in about 40 degree weather. Again, this is all going to depend if you're going to be cold tolerant. So some people, they get cold faster than others. Some people stay warmer than others. So you're just going to figure that out for yourself. Another piece that I use in October when it gets close to the rut, this is the Stratus hat. Sorry, this is the Stratus beanie. This is the newer one. The difference between this one and last year's model is this one the ears come down kind of swoops and it has a swoop down here versus last year's model it was just a straight beanie this one's really nice because it is windproof this one i've worn so far throughout the whole season this year and it, the coldest i've been out is probably single digits with wind chills and this one's been really good another piece that i use are the merino wool gloves I actually got these as a gift for an early Christmas present and I took these out for gun deer and man merino wool is really nice if you guys can afford these they're not too expensive but these are super warm you can wear them to your stand and your hands will not freeze another piece is the neck gaiter this thing is warm super warm I would advise not to wear it to your stand put it in your backpack until you get to your stand and then put it on inside has this fluffy material which is really nice word of caution i've seen a lot of these for sale that are used and people wash them and they tumble dry it and this material will kind of like clump up and not be as fluffy anymore it's kind of like when you wash those puffy coats with the fur around the neck if you wash those and dry them up the fur kind of like melts in the washer it kind of curls up doesn't look as nice and it won't perform as good but this is really nice to have on cold days now to late late season this is the fanatic jacket really heavy not really heavy but it's a heavier jacket i will not wear this to the stand pack it in once you get up to your stand and put it on i had the stratus jacket prior to this and that was a really good wind stopper but I had no insulation so when I was in the stand for a couple hours I would get cold even with um, the Equinox hoodie and the base layer the uh, zip tee I would still get cold. This here again is the Fanatic jacket in the medium. Key features here is the harness hole in the back. A lot of them We'll either have a cutout back here for you to slip your harness rope through and that causes you to disconnect from the tree which is really dangerous. So I like the way that Sitka had done here is to, 
just unclasp it. There's a, let's see if we can see it. Hole there, you put this here. And then put it on and it's tight. And then it's got a magnet here too, to hold everything together. Again, this is a medium. You can feel the warmth right away when you put this on. And one thing that the Fanatic series is known for is the offset zipper. And I can tell you the reasoning here in a bit. When you're bow hunting, the traditional one, you'll have a, a neck piece that kind of looks like this, but this actually comes over. You have your bow at full draw, it's more comfortable. Also, another key feature here is that it does have a magnet. You can see it. There it is. Hear that snapped in place. Keeps this in place. And this has a kangaroo pouch with zippers. And one on top of here, you can put your cell phone in there, which is really nice. The ones that go on that side here, you can put your hand warmers inside of here. And inside of this hand pouch is the same material as the outside. So it's really fluffy and it's warm. It has a pocket up here, a single pocket. The inside has another pocket, so a pocket within a pocket. This is the 2020 model. I know the older models, I believe 2018 or 2017 and older, kind of had a design where it had separate um, compartments sewed into here. So you have one side here for a grunt tube and then a bigger pocket for a range finder. But it got changed it up this year and just made one big pocket with a pocket inside here so you can fit everything in there. And it'll be nice and compact. Again, this is the medium fanatic jacket. Really super quiet drawing. It does not make a single noise. Key features of this jacket here. It's got fleece lining here, windproof and waterproof. And you can see here on the inside part of the arm, it's not that fleecy material anymore. They do that because this is a right-handed jacket. They make a right-handed and a left-handed jacket. Um, you're going to hold the bow with left hand, of course, if you're a right-handed shooter. And this does not have any fleece material, so you have more room when you draw the bow. And on this side, it's actually fleece material and then where your elbow bends right here. It's got that, I don't know what they call it, but the non-fleece material, of course. So when you bend, you have more movement, which is really nice. So when you come to full draw, you're not making much noise. It's really comfortable. Really well insulated jacket and it's heavy so you're going to stay warm in this. Last piece, I just got this in the mail. This is the Fanatic bib. I had the Fanatic light bib that I used for most of the season. That was a really nice bib but it had no insulation, no wind stopper. So on windy days, it got really cold. So I ended up selling that and I picked up these. So these again, same material as the Fanatic jacket. It's got the fleece outer. Super quiet. They are heavy. I'm not sure if you would want to wear these in. Um, I personally think I would. Some spots are hunting are really close, but if you're walking like a mile or a mile and a half to your stand, I'll probably pack these out too, and then when you get to the stand, you put them on. So I'll put these on, and then I will talk about some more about it. All right, so these are how they look like when they're on me. So I'll zoom out a little bit. And these are mediums. They do kind of scrunch up towards the bottom, but they're not too bad. So with your, uh, I wear knee-high boots. Again, the Alpha Burry, uh, 1600s. So that'll raise these pants up a little bit. Again, these have the Berber, sorry, not Berber. Again, these have the fleece material. The front has two pockets here, so when you're bow hunting, you can take your hands here to keep warm. Two zippers down here. here. And then the nice thing about these is it's got the fleece material. It has two cargo pockets right here. Pretty deep actually. And then another outer pocket and a zipper. It's got a lot of pockets. 
and from about your top of the thighs down it does not have this fleece material reason being is because you're walking through the brush you won't pick up as many burrs on here which is a pretty smart idea from uh, Sitka then on the back here the fleece material does go all the way down to the back of your uh, knee here then it has a zipper here for you to vent when you are sweating and on the bottom it has a full length zipper that comes all the way up to the top this is how it looks like with the fanatic jacket and bib all together You have this and the hat. And you can probably stay in the tree for a long time in the cold weather with this. It's super warm. Another thing I forgot to mention about the Equinox hoodie is that it does have a built in face mask. It's not as good as a Fanatic hoodie, but this will do if you want some concealment, which is nice. Oh, and also it has a hole in the back here, like I mentioned, for your harness. Okay, that's all I have for today's video. Just want to show you guys my Sitka gear. It is pricey, but you get what you pay for. I do get a lot of people asking, why do you spend so much money on your hunting gear and all the clothes that you buy? And it's because you're paying for quality. I can layer up a base layer the zip tee and this fanatic jacket and I can get down to what was the other day in the 20s and the teens next to the tree for two or three hours compared to buying some cheaper camo that you're gonna spend I don't know 20 30 bucks and you're gonna keep on layering and layering and layering and then by the time you're up in the tree you will be so stiff that you're not gonna be able to move or draw your bow Especially if you're gun hunting, it's going to change the length of pull of when you sight it in your gun in early summer. And when you go to pick up your gun and shoot, your length of pull is going to be different because you're adding so much padding between you and the gun. Um, that goes the same with the bow too. If you're going to layer up so much, you're going to have a hard time pulling your bow back. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section down below. I'll try my best to answer them. Again, this is what I have for my Sitka collection. I know there's a whole bunch of other ones, but this is what I chose. Um, I'm still going to probably pick up a Fanatic hoodie, um, a lightweight tee, and a lightweight zip-up tee just for early season. But I think I'm pretty much set for late season. Again, good luck to all you guys uh, who's hunting. I have not shot a buck yet this year with my archery tag, so I'm still going to be chasing one. There is a pretty decent buck here in my backyard. I'm going to roll in a photo here. Um, this one I got back in the middle of July, so I'm one time, then came back a month ago. And then I saw him again on trail camera, of course, um, a couple weeks ago. So hopefully he survived the, the gun deer season here in Wisconsin because I know it's like a war zone with gun deer here. But yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Again, I'll be doing a giveaway of 2,000 subscribers. Keep an eye out for that. And until next time, see you guys.